Hey guys, welcome back to my channel and if you're new here, it is so great to have you. I'm Antoinette, a New Zealander living in Germany. This video today is actually going to be a little bit of a story time video where I challenge some stereotypes about German behavior and just German people in general. I know a lot of people who come to Germany from a different country, they come and live in Germany and many of them will say that Germans can be unfriendly, maybe not so um, easy to make friends with. Is there some truth behind these stereotypes? Absolutely. I have definitely had times in Germany where I have struggled to make friends and connect with Germans. There's been times where I have found Germans to be very unfriendly. Does this mean that every single German is like this? Absolutely not. Actually, something I've learned after living in Germany for a long period of time now is that you can't jump to conclusions and judge all Germans based on some of these German stereotypes because not all Germans are gonna be unfriendly and cold. That's just simply not true. Some of them are going to be like that, but you're definitely going to find Germans that are the complete opposite. Okay, I'm gonna jump into the story now. A lot of you will know that my family and I recently built a house in Germany, and it was a long process trying to find an appropriate plot of land to actually build the house on, and we ended up finding a really nice little plot of land on a street, an already established street. In Germany, a lot of people actually build in these new building areas where most of the houses in the neighborhood are actually new houses, but in our case, our street was already established. So our house that we would be building would be the last house on the street to be built. So it would complete the street basically. And I was actually feeling pretty nervous about building in this area because it just looked like these people were really established in their little community and the neighborhood just seemed a little bit, I don't know, I got the impression that everyone knew everybody and it was a very sort of German neighborhood. And I was thinking, oh man, they're gonna be like, who are these foreigners who have just come and you know built this house in our neighborhood? Because from previous experiences, um, it's been quite hard to fit into sort of a community when you're sort of the outsider, if you know what I mean. So when the building process actually started, we came back and forth to the property. I wasn't actually there very often because there wasn't much to do for the kids at the property. So it was mostly my husband there. But um, we did meet a couple of our sort of direct neighbors and they seemed you know, very pleasant, very nice. Um, but we didn't meet a lot of people on the street because we were only there sort of back and forth quickly. So we finally got to the point where our house was standing and we actually had the roof on our house, not the roof tiles, but the actual structure of the roof. So my husband told me that in Germany there's a little bit of a tradition that when the roof is finally on your house, you have kind of like a party with your neighborhood just to celebrate. So Rob wanted to invite the whole street to come and celebrate the fact that the roof was on our house. And honestly, I thought this was a pretty crazy idea. Like for one, we didn't really know anybody on the street. We'd briefly met a couple of the neighbors, but we didn't know anyone else. And also from my experience, it's been pretty hard trying to get to know people in Germany when you move into a new neighborhood and it takes a while. I honestly thought this was going to be an absolute disaster of an idea. I didn't think anybody would turn up and I just thought people would think we were really weird inviting them to come and celebrate with us when they didn't even know us. Honestly, this is something you probably wouldn't even do in New Zealand, let alone Germany. So I just said to Rob, no, I think, you know, we'll just have a quiet little celebration with, you know, your parents and maybe the builders. And Rob was like, no, it'll be fine. Let's just invite everybody. You know, it'll be a good way to get to know the street, the people on the street. And I was like, are you sure about that? I just really didn't think it was gonna be a good idea. And then I finally gave in and said, okay, yeah, let's invite everybody on the street. The only reason I was so apprehensive is because, as I said, it's just I didn't think this would be a typical German thing to do. But Rob was trying to tell me that it is a typical German thing to do. This was actually the time when my mum was staying in Germany with us, which was so, so cool. But anyway, Rob got talking to one of the neighbours, the person that lived across the road, and mentioned that he wanted to invite the street for our little housewarming pre-housewarming party and so the person the man that he was talking to said that he'll send a whatsapp group to say that you know we're having this little party 
gathering at this particular time. So that was sort of organized. Everyone on the street knew what was going on. So anyway, Rob actually hired a whole lot of these sort of seats, kind of like banks that you would see at a beer garden. And I was thinking, oh, do you really need all of these? And he was like, yeah, yeah, you know, who knows who's going to come? You know, there might be a lot of people and, you know, we need to be prepared. And I was thinking, oh God, it's going to be so embarrassing if we have all of these seats and like no one turns up. But Rob was determined to do it, so I was like, yeah, I'll just let him do it. Um, and he ordered a whole lot of different cakes from the local bakery. He went and picked up some beer and wine and non-alcoholic drinks. I actually made a platter with all sorts of different things, like little nibbles. So anyway, we set up the backyard with you know all of the chairs, the big banks and the food and everything. My in-laws were there, my mum and a couple of our friends from our old neighborhood we invited and um, the builders and sure enough one by one people started turning up people I'd never met before our new neighbors people on our street people just kept coming and coming holding bottles of champagne and I just kept seeing new faces and they'd come and say hello introduce themselves hello I'm so and so I live three doors down and um, welcome to the neighborhood and that hand us a bottle of champagne and it was just so so nice I was not expecting it at all <laughs> And I just couldn't believe it and soon enough our backyard was absolutely packed with our new neighbors all the people that lived on our street they were all so welcoming and so open and so warm we had so many bottles of champagne from people in our street I was just amazed people were just so welcoming and you know we offered them a drink and they you know helped themselves to the nibbles and I just went around like meeting all of the people in our street you know introducing myself and they would introduce themselves and I'd show them you know around the house and obviously it wasn't anywhere near finished but they were interested to see how it looked inside so it turned into this really fun street party where most of the people on our street we don't have a huge street but most of the people turned up and they had so much fun and I had fun and yeah I got to know I got to know all sorts of people and I felt so much better about moving into this community because people sort of welcomed us with open arms. I think my mum was really surprised too. She was not expecting so many people to turn up and yeah, it was just, it was really, really nice. And it just, for me, it sort of proved that, you know, I shouldn't always presume that Germans are not going to be friendly and not going to be warm and welcoming because this was not the case at all in this situation. Our whole street, almost our whole street turned up to our housewarming and we didn't even know them. We didn't even know these people and um, it was great. It was so much fun and it definitely broke the ice. So when we actually finally moved into our house, which was quite a while after this sort of gathering, um, it was during Corona lockdown. We didn't see a lot of the neighbors at this time because of the whole situation, but some of them actually left us welcome cards, welcome to the neighborhood cards. And someone actually even gave us a present and left it on our doorstep. Also, when our little boy Luca was born towards the end of January, Germany was in full lockdown mode. Nobody was allowed visitors. And some of our neighbors, like several of our neighbors left us presents on our doorstep to say congratulations. And I just appreciated that so much. So guys, I'm really sorry. My little boy Luca has just woken up from his nap and he is hungry and he needs my full attention. So I think I'm going to have to save the second story for another video. I do think that my story proves a point that you can't believe all of the German stereotypes. Not all Germans are cold and unfriendly. That's just absolutely not true. So you definitely need to give people the benefit of the doubt before you judge them and jump to conclusions. So anyway guys, thank you so much for watching. Watching. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to give it a big thumbs up. I would love you to consider subscribing to my channel if you haven't already. Feel free to connect with me on Instagram and I will see you again really soon. Bye!